Hey everybody, Ryan here. This video is intended as a direct address to Anton and Kirill Yudinsev, as well as anyone else in a management position relevant to the War Thunder project at Gaijin Entertainment. Of course, if they happen to be watching this. And before beginning, a disclaimer that I will not be berating, insulting, or otherwise disrespecting any of the aforementioned parties. And so, Anton, Kirill, the War Thunder community loves your game. It's literally the perfect blend of simulation and arcade accessibility and has the widest amount of content from all kinds of combat vehicles and has a huge player base who are excessively dedicated. And just keep in mind that these are your customers. These are the people that keep your game and your business afloat. And this is exactly why you are currently and have in the past experienced passionate responses from said community regarding changes to the game. And the review bombing on Steam and other platforms is not only due to the proposed and reverted economy changes. That was simply the final straw, the rains that caused the dam to fail, if you will. And this response, including the planned walkout, are all encompassing. So every other controversy from months and years past is included in the reasons for how your customers are reacting as of May 2023. And even though this response may seem very harsh and that you yourself claim to think that it would destroy the game eventually, I disagree. And while I personally would have loved to address these issues in a more direct and professional way, you have to realize that you make this very difficult for us because Gaijin Entertainment is almost a black box. Most of the time, our feedback seems to just fall on deaf ears and probably because most of the feedback you receive is legitimately hurtful and i understand that but you have to learn to be strong in the age of the internet and filter out those responses that are just out to get a rise of you the trolls if you will because again contrary to how it feels right now we want to love your game and this might just be me but i'd wager i can speak for many other players here too and that we want to play your game for the rest of time as long as the servers are up we're here to play and we're here to support you too as many players do what we won't tolerate, however, is blatant and short-sighted disrespect for our time, dedication, and money given to War Thunder every day. And we need you and the management team to work with us to bring War Thunder out of this literal dark age. We do not hate you, okay? We hate what you have decided to do to this gem of a game. Steam reviews can be changed, players can be brought back, the game can be changed for the better, only if you and the team begin making a series of simple decisions. You just have to put respect and dignity towards your loyal customers and prioritize long-term gains over short-term profits. And we need the health of the gaming experience to reign supreme above all else. One thing that's very shocking to me and has been very obvious throughout my years of playing in groups with other people is that players of War Thunder are often left feeling despondent, depressed, disgusted, enraged, and confused, and more when experiencing certain events within the game. And I sincerely hope that this is not the intended emotional response, because the game and its changes should create positive emotions, and players' emotions are more important to us than calculations and numbers, right? At least that's what was said in the server update when the recent economy changes were reverted. And of course, feeling mad occasionally when playing video games is pretty normal for most people, the sheer frequency of such negative responses while playing War Thunder should definitely indicate to you that you are doing something wrong on a large scale. However, I will not be including any specific things to change or to improve the game in this video because that isn't really the point. I do have one more piece of silly advice for the War Thunder team, however, and that is that I believe they should leverage the intense knowledge of their most skilled and experienced players as direct consultants. Of course, this should not just be any player with thousands of hours, but at this point, the management and maybe the development team has shown to be incapable of making the hard changes that the game needs so desperately to stay alive in the long term. Just a quick two examples of map design and vehicle balancing, but there's obviously more. And so that's all I have to say for now about the current controversy that's happening with War Thunder. And as far as a closing statement towards Anton and Kirill Yudinsev and the management team for War Thunder, I really have nothing else to say other than have a heart, brother. We're just out here trying to enjoy the greatest vehicle combat game that has ever been produced. And you're milking us dry. It's really depressing and it's really disrespectful. And I hope that if either of you or any of the other team do see this, just 
please consider the morality of what you're doing and how you're affecting these players. This is my favorite game of all time and my most played game of all time, and I really hate to see it devolving to this point. And frankly, we need you to step up and man up and own up to the things that you've done and the things that need to change and lead War Thunder into the golden age that it truly deserves. Okay, that's it for now.